close your eyes and stay with your breath, all the way in, all the way out. As you're doing this, you're developing good qualities of mind, qualities like mindfulness, alertness, patience. Because it takes a while, it takes a while for the mind to settle in, so give it some time. Be confident that as the mind settles in, it's going to be good for it. That's how you develop some patience with a little bit of conviction. Concentration, discernment, all these qualities get developed as you meditate. And in developing these qualities, you're developing a blessing for yourself. We like to hear blessings from outside. But blessings from outside, you never know. Sometimes, you, as they say, be careful what you want. A little while back I was talking to an, an old woman who was complaining to all these people saying, you know, may you live long, may you live long, and she says, that's more of a curse than a blessing. Well, it depends on your state of mind. If your state of mind is good, then there's no problem. So where's the state of mind going to come from? It's not going to come from somebody else's blessing. It's going to come from your own work inside. So you work inside on the mind so that no matter what happens to the body, your mind is okay. And that's a blessing for yourself. The same one in the chant that we have, Ayut wa no sukang balang, may you have a long life and have beauty. Well, beauty at the end of a long life comes from your precepts, from your virtue. So that what makes it good, then, is the fact that you've been doing good inside. We like to think that happiness is good things outside, but suppose everything outside were good. Suppose everybody were praising you all the time. You wouldn't know when you were doing right, when you were doing wrong. At the same time, you'd get the sense you didn't know who you could really trust. Think about people who are in positions where everybody around them is praising them, and they begin to lose touch with reality, and they get very uncertain, very unsure. These people praising them, are they praising them out of good motives or bad? And you never get your get to see your reputation tested. In other words, when other people are saying bad things about you, one, you can look and see, okay, is your behavior really that, that way that they're saying? In some cases, as the Buddha said, they're pointing out treasure. In other words, you see an area where you can improve yourself. And if it's not true, you've learned something about the person saying the things that are not true. And you've also learned something about the people who believe it. Because when rumors like that go around, people will believe what they want to believe. And so you get to see, oh, these are the people who trust you and these are the people who really don't. Or are happy to hear bad news about you while well, you've learned an important lesson, who you can trust and who you can't. So some of the, sometimes the bad things in the world are good if your mind is in the right shape to take them on as good. So keep this in mind, that you want a blessing, right? this is how you bless yourself. You don't need blessings from outside. It's, it's nice when you hear other people giving you blessings. It's encouraging. But the actual blessing inside, the happiness, because blessing, what is it? It's something that makes you blissful. Okay? The real bliss in life comes from the good qualities you develop in the mind. So you want to make sure that those are strong. <laughs>